everyone. Thank you for coming and to hang out with me to do another little devotional here of um, Ephesians 4, 8. Um, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. So um, this is what we've been doing, our devotional series, our artsy devotionals here um, of, of this verse and just picking out a word each time and just spending some time thinking about that word and um, doing a little art project with it. Uh, I think it's really been, I, it's been good for me. I don't know if, for you, but it's been very good for me to just, to be able to think on these things and um, really solidify it in my heart and in my mind and in my life. So, um, and it's been very good. I've, I've really been enjoying it. And I hope you have been too. Okay, well, we're going to focus on the word lovely. And um, I'm sure everybody already knows what that means. <laughs> but I looked it up in the dictionary, and it's, it says um, delightful for beauty, harmony, grace, attractive, grand, swell, like, like what a lovely evening. Or what a lovely morning, what a grand morning. Um, beautiful, uh, pleasing. Um, I looked up a couple things in the Bible where that word is listed. Um, and Samuel, it's um, talking about the um, father-son love between the first king of Israel, Saul, and his son, Jonathan. They were together all the time, all, th you know, all the time. And um, they had a great relationship. And they even, they even ended up dying together, which was kind of sad. But this verse says that between Saul and Jonathan, their their friendship was lovely they were always together um in song of solomon uh which is describing uh the love between solomon and the shulamite woman um he uh, he describes her as being lovely, uh, Solomon, Solomon 5. She says her love, oh, actually it's, sh she's describing him as being lovely. <laughs> um, her lover is lovely, it says. <laughs> uh, in Ezekiel 33, the people hear God and when they hear God, it's lovely to them. They listen, they listen to the word, but, uh, but for some reason they did not follow the word. Um, they didn't obey God's word and they ended up um, being judged by it because it's just not enough to just listen to the word of God, but you need to act on it and, and obey it to get God's blessings. And then the verse that I'm going to try to uh, use for my little art today is Isaiah 52, 7. It says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publishes salvation and that saith unto Zion, 
thy God reigns. So the feet of people, like back then, people just wore sandals and their, they walked everywhere pretty much. And their feet got very, very dirty. Um, that's why one of the customs when you go to visit somebody's house, one of the customs was that the host of the house would would wash your feet first. That was just a courtesy because your feet would get so dirty just on the roads. The roads were all dusty and dirty. <laughs> Not like what we have today. Um, so, but here it says your feet, the feet of somebody that brings good news, uh, brings news of peace and of good tidings, the feet of that person was considered beautiful. And um, I can I can agree with that. Even now, uh, if somebody would come to our house and give us good news, it's just a beautiful thing. So I'm gonna, that's what we're gonna work on today on, on our little art project. Um, so if you can think of some other beautiful things and lovely things, I'd love to hear them in the comments. Um, of what you think is a beautiful thing. or be, um, There's so many beautiful things, <laughs> um, even in nature. And um, our little page today in my journal here is uh, pretty nice already. It's got really good imprints of these leaves on here. So I'm, it's going to be kind of hard you know, because I kind of don't want to um, cover them up. Uh, but at the same time, I, well, I might keep, maybe I might keep one page and then just work on the other page. I don't know. Uh, we'll think, we'll figure it out just like a puzzle. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But I would like to make it pretty. So um, let's get started. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw a dove on this page that I'm gonna add to this. Let me put that there. Right. I kind of did it in pencil so that it won't take too much time on the video. Okay, ooh, that'd be pretty. I think I'm gonna dress up this dove. I'm gonna put some flowers in his hair and somehow have him carrying like a little message maybe. We'll see. Okay, so let's see. Let me put some flower and get some paints here. Let's see. Okay, got some paint here. Paint him in.
look like feet. <laughs> footprints. I'm putting footprints. That's what I'm doing. Some footprints over here, too. Uh, maybe footprints coming down, maybe.
paint on that. paper that I painted on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use that to glue to this page so that I can turn it. It'll be it'll be free. So let me put the glue right along the edge here. kind of figuring this out. <laughs> it's just like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle. I'm going to put this on my page right here.
I think this might work. I think I'm just gonna leave this loose here. And I think that's pretty. All right, so now, <laughs> where to put my verse is a good question. I think I might do it on the typewriter. I'll maybe put some of it. Maybe I'll put it right in here. I have to make it very small so it'll fit in there. Or maybe I can put it over here. You know, I don't know. I have to think about it for a minute. the way you can see the lace through this page. You know, you can see the lace on the other side. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We'll come back with, I'll come back with the verse and then we will try to figure out where to put it. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm back. Um, I printed my verse on tissue paper and I think it's gonna fit right in there so what I'm gonna do is put some gel medium matte medium and glue that down all right let me paint that in here Was it? 
keep sticking there. the edges like I've done all the other edges so let me get that let me get that uh, distressed ink it's a vintage photo might as well keep it the same color let me see if I can do this I didn't notice before. some 
distressing on the lace. lovely don't you I've got my little feet print here and here how beautiful are the feet of him who brings good news peace salvation and proclaims to Zion that your God reigns that's taken from Isaiah 52 7 okay everyone I hope you Hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's always amazing to me how when we work on something and we're creating, uh, we're creating something new uh, out of something that was not there before. <laughs> and um, I think that that's so much fun. Anyway, um, until next time, and be thinking of all the lovely things that you have around you. Jot them down and um, count them as blessings. Okay, we'll see you. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Yeah.